Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Anybody you're thinking about dealing with or on your mind? Most important messages for Sagittarius from now to first week of March. Right? Sag. Wow. Woman holding a coin. Very strong earth energy around you. Okay. <laughs> this uh, can be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn you're dealing with. Sag. For a lot of you, this is somebody working as a boss manager or somebody who's very financially stable at the moment. Or for a lot of you, this is your own energy where you are focusing majorly, majorly on your, oh wow, personal healing and happiness. That's leading to a lot of abundance, a lot of growth, a lot of self um, Mm, focus here i see right beautiful energy very earthy energy very grounded energy overall Sag. might be having a very clear focus this week and especially of other week first week of march major focus is all about your finances your stability stability in your relationships right very interesting. Let's dive in and see what is actually happening here. Beautiful time to spend your, with yourself on your healing. On your, This might be a little aloof and distant from the other people. But frankly, it's not um, uh, in a negative way. It's in a very positive way. You're finding out time for yourself this week. You're finding out uh, time to nurture yourself. Wow. And when you dance universe dances with you and things manifest right co-create this is the co-creation with the universe right oh wow you have no idea what kind of energies you attract when you are vibrating at this level at such a beautiful level right beautiful okay amazing so look at that for a lot of you, what I see from the cards is that you're vibrating at a wonderful level in the upcoming days. If you have been going through a tough phase lately or recently, you have been through, a, um, you know, you've gone through some very tough time in your life. I see things really getting better, improved. I see transformation. I see healing, you know, and that's leading to some major changes in your life. As if some chapters are ending and new chapters are starting here, right? Specifically those who were having some sort of financial struggle or if you were dealing with people who were having financial struggles or other kind of struggles in their life. I see you beautifully distancing yourself from all the lower vibrations and you're definitely heading towards some higher vibrations. And that's when universe is sending you this new opportunities, new passions, new attractions maybe and wow what not right somebody in your surroundings might be in a mood or in that emotion where they want to be carefree careless and want to take some leap of faith maybe towards you we're going to clarify what's that but for you this is a phase of transformation this is a phase of change amazing amazing energy Oh boy, <laughs> you're ready to cut out the toxicity from your life. Anything and everything that is toxic, anything and everything that is leading to a lower vibration, a toxic attachment, or maybe any kind of energy that is pulling you down, you're totally in the mood to, you know, cut that cycle, cut that cord, end the things which are not serving you. You're totally in the mood to distract yourself from the energies which are not serving you. This is a decision that you're making this week. And for a lot of you, anything that was uh, having an ill intention, and you can totally figure out if this thing is having an ill intention, you are deciding to cut it out justice balance anything that has been unfair wow devil with the queen of wands again for a lot of you something here might be a little unfair right i'm going to clarify that 
but this is your energy where wow for very few of you specifically sad males i felt two two parties around you an earth sign and a fire sign maybe somebody you already involved with and then there is somebody very um attractive around you is definitely having eyes on you but this is very very specific message i said i'll tip for others I'm going to just clarify a lot of cards here what about this energy around you oh boy oh boy oh this person loves you sad they don't want you to change if you're changing you now for some of you i see um a level upgrade happening sag 2.0 kind of energy right i'm changing my world is changing from within from outside i'm healing i'm growing i'm positive oh my god i sense such sort of positivity here uh this might require cutting out some cycles ending some toxic situations around you or simply just transforming your life altogether which and which you know when you are becoming lighter you rise up but you have to, when you ascend you have to just cut the cords so you don't carry the baggage now somebody here can't let that happen can't let that happen this person is freaked out to see you change still wanting to manifest still wanting to work with you really heartbroken I'm very serious about Oh my god okay let's see more let's see more we're going to clarify of course oh okay again your energy of of your focus is more i'm i won't call it selfish but yes you have more energy is is on yourself your growth and your stability uh you might come to a point of realization that i can't help it you know whatever you're thinking whatever you're going through i can't help it oh boy this person is little fucked up okay they are little not okay here little not okay right yeah look at that eight of cups knight of swords eight of swords so lost without you confused for a lot of you the situation has been a missed opportunity right there was a lot of potential maybe in past there has been a lot of potential in the situation but something went wrong maybe this person was too careless and you thought of i see you have something new on your mind now right you have something new on your mind you have memories with them of course for a lot of you they might even try to reach out to you they missing you they thinking about you and you will also have a sort of a thought about them but somewhere at heart you're resisting any forward movement because for a lot of you i see you have different things in your mind specifically when it comes to this person you might have different thought whoa your new version is definitely driving this person crazy saj you're sending you're changing you're attracting new opportunities this might not go well with somebody this person feels that you're just thinking about yourself and you're not <clears throat> caring about them at all what is this new opportunity we're talking about here yeah just to see cutting things out for a lot of you libra capricorn fire energy around you uh for a lot of you this thing is over for you this is some past energy why why this ending or transformation is taking place here though it's very appearing very positive for you for of sort something happened a very unexpected um something very 
shaky happened that shook your foundation, right? And this has happened recently. Okay, let me see more. And this has somehow maybe some news, some realization. And for a lot of you, I just felt that whatever you heard, I don't know about this person, about the connection, about the situation, I don't know. Whatever you heard, you heard the same thing from multiple sources. Or for a lot of you, whatever information is coming your way, it's not coming from one source. The same information is repeating. It's coming from multiple sources. And this is one of the reasons I'm feeling you are not willing to work with this person or in this situation anymore. Just give me a second. Now. Okay. This is one of the reasons I feel you are unwilling to work here anymore. Let me give it one more shuffle. So, you know, it can be miscommunication or wrong information from one end. But uh, if the information is getting repeated from a lot of sources, it's like you need a break to think about it. You know, for example, you got to know something about this person. This person is afraid that eventually you will know. And you actually heard it. Now they're freaked out. They heard. They want to manifest it again. But... What is this fool energy? For fans, they want to step into a new zone with you, new stability with you, and they're very confused. Two of swords. I want to know why is this person so afraid to lose you or so afraid, so freaked out? Seriously, eight of swords here. Not able to make a decision. Six of wands. Three of swords. Knight of oh. mm. I They're pretty serious about how they feel about you. Their feelings are too strong. They're very emotional and sensitive. For a lot of you, this person um, is not having a wonderful image in people's eye. I don't know why I'm just getting this message. This is very specific. Some of you might be dealing with somebody who is uh, having the potential or for some reason this person becomes the matter of gossip and people talk about them. That's what's happening around them. They are very confused. But they are very serious about it. And they hurt that a lot of interference, a lot of uh, attention on them is causing this beautiful energy to get ruined. They felt that it's a potential, it was a potential, but people really uh, messed the situation up. And I am actually feeling that from the very beginning that you are uh, hearing things about them or something from multiple sources. Now, what are you feeling? Let's see. Seven of Wands. Okay. Nine of Cups. Yeah. Queen of Swords. For a lot of you, I, I don't feel that this level of seriousness or the level of attachment was equal here. It won't be right to say that just uh, the gossip or just what people are saying or any, I don't know. It's impacting the situation at the moment, but wow. Okay. I see you pretty clear in your thought process. You know what you want and you know what you're looking forward for. You're setting boundaries here with this person. Strength, Empress, Knight of Pentacles, yeah. And the the funny part here is that I, I won't call it funny though. It's not funny, of course. You say contrary or you say what I don't know, but as you decide to step aside, you're vibrating at such a level that you're attracting a lot of things towards you. So the transition for you is flawless from this whole situation and then break, then shock, then transformation. 
it is happening flawlessly for you and you're entering into a new zone of opportunities specifically love work money passion everything but for this person this is shooking their soul literally you're getting my point emperor fool and the star yes you know where you have to head we have the eight of cups bottom of the deck you exactly know where you have to head where you're going and you have made the decision for a lot of you you've decided to step aside from this person definitely deciding to step aside from this person okay let's let's use this deck sagittarius No, Sash. Okay. Recovery. Look at that. Personal door to personal healing and happiness. Transformation. Death. Recovery. No, yeah, this person might be on a track where universe is telling them to stop. Helpful people for a lot of you if you were forgiveness, see? Eh? There are people, again, why, I don't know, but there are people involved in the situation, Saj. I'm strongly getting that feeling. There are people involved in this picture. And this person needs to stop doing something. They're overthinking and overanalyzing and overindulging in the situation. Maybe they're not able to control their emotions. They need to stop here. Let's see more passion you have different things and you you have some passionate calling you want to go there friendship maybe they want to reconcile or they want to be you know it's like they they know they're being friend zoned here darker male energy mature woman okay past love yep for a lot of you this is some ex of yours possibly ex of yours and if this is not your ex i see somebody's getting friend zoned here right for you, the chemistry was very high maybe, but you were not looking for something serious because you have your focus on your healing and your happiness and your growth at the moment. Different things for different people, but okay, I'm going to leave you here. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.